Hi there, you lovely fly fishing maniacs. My name is Ken Person. Welcome to the Sameo channel. Dry fly fishing is just one of the best things in life for me. It's visual, it's exciting, and it can be challenging like hell some days, and it's easy as pie another. One of the major things we want from the fly, besides catching the fish, is that it floats well. And that is the subject today. We use many types of dry flies, from a high floating mayfly spinner to a low drifted pupa or a hatcher. These different imitations put different demands on the chemicals we use to make our dry flies float, so they imitate the particular bug that are on the menu for the day. So we got gels, we got spray, we even get some powders and special oils for specific materials. So what is the best for me and what should I use? Well, as usual, the answer is depending on what you're supposed to imitate and of course the material of the fly. A foam caddy is virtually impossible to sink uh, with or without any added chemicals, while a tiny CDC buzzer literally is hanging on the surface just by a small feather. That type of fly of course don't stay up that easy on top if it gets wet or a fish slimes it down. So what are the pros and cons from the different types of floatants? Some fly fishers prefer to pre-treat their flies back home with dry fly dip. This is a kind of hydrostop chemical that prevents the fly from getting wet. It is effective, but the whole fly gets treated and that makes it float really high. It makes it a great floatant for big mayfly spinners, but maybe not that good if you want caddis pupa or a clink hammer to be presented low in the film of the surface. A spray floatant is a quick way to treat the fly with just the tiniest swift of floatant. You can pre-treat it back home by the vise like the dry dip or you can use it directly before fishing by the bank. The advantage is of course that it's very easy to apply, but however it treats the whole fly and sometimes also the tippet of the leader. Just as the dry dip it works great for big bushy flies they want to present high on the surface. Of course you can also dab some on your finger and just put it on the hackle or the part of the fly you want to treat, but again why then use a spray? In that case, the dry fly floatant gel might be a better option. This is one of the most popular floatants we have in the assortment. It's easy to apply with just the tiniest little dab on your fingertip so you can apply it exactly where you want it. It's made for instant use by the waters. Treat the hackles and the tails on your mayflies for higher floatant or use it on the body or wings on a caddis fly for lower profiles. It's really easy to use and can be hanged upside down for quick access on holders. The dry powder and the big dry shake has both a fine hydrostop powder that is keeping your fly dry longer. It is a great way to make a drenched fly dry up and be ready to use again. The difference between the two are that the big dry shake has some tiny plastic beads added to the powder. These beads help to rinse the fly if you get fish slime or grass on it. The dry powder can be used to top off the big dry shake when the powder content gets low. Blow the excess off the fly. The floatant gel and the big dry shake is the combination I personally use the most. We do produce a great combo holder that you can buy that keeps both of these products accessible during fishing. The CDC feather has a fantastic natural built-in grease in the feathers. CDC is an acronym for the French name of these particular feathers. Cul de canard. Translated that means a duck's ass. And that is of course because these feathers are coming from the rump of the duck, close to a gland that produces the grease that keeps the feathers natural watertight on the bird. The natural CDC feathers are very sensitive to sticky chemicals and need special floatant made particular for CDC. A traditional and popular product is the CDC oil made from natural duck grease and also the super floatant gel specially made for CDC. Both these floatants works great with the CDC feathers without sticking them together. 
To dry a CDC fly, you can use a big dry shake or dry powder, or a bit of amadou or even a regular piece of toilet paper to dry the feathers. When the fly is properly dry, just apply the tiniest dab of CDC oil or CDC floatant and it will be as new again. For me personally, it's very important to be able to put the floatant exactly where I want it to be on the particular imitation. On some flies, I want the fly to sit in the surface, like caddis pupas, buzzers and so on. And on others, like mayfly spinners, I want them high up dancing on the surface. So I do use a combination of different floatants and also some sink versions to keep my thin leaders from reflecting and disturbing the presentations. Fly and leader sink is a gel that helps you to take away some grease from the tippet. My personal favorite however is the sink mud and I keep it together with my floatants ready to use in the sling. So some fly fishers love the spray, some like to pre-treat all the flies with dip. Others prefer the CDC oil or gel. Me? I like to use them all in different combos. And you have to find your preferences and what works best for your dry fly fishing. If there is something I missed, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, please subscribe. All the best, see ya!